Hello and welcome to my little YouTube video, first one ever and possibly the last. Um, this is just a little video to show my PCB agitator for etching circuit boards, just basically for keeping the liquid etchant um, swilling around um, to make it etch more efficiently. Um, basically what I've done is I've taken an old CD-ROM drive and fitted a little DIY circuit board on the back with a pickaxe 18 pick IC, um, a motor driver, probably a little bit overkill, could have probably got away with a transistor or two, um, but it wasn't very expensive so not a problem and there's a 5 volt regulator as well basically the whole thing's designed to run off a PP3 battery um, two LEDs again not really needed but I thought it'd be handy to show which direction the motors running in plus they were kicking around in the garage along with all the Vero board and all the other bits and pieces so anyway um, I've got it hooked up to a 9 volt power supply don't think you can really see the display there, but uh, trust me, that's running at 9 volts. 0.1 of an amp, it says at the moment. Um, right. Basically, I don't want to make this video too long and boring, but under here, I'm not sure if you can see, but I've used the one of the existing circuit boards on the CD-ROM drive, the one with the switches and the motor, and I've just hooked all my wires to that. So... In the tray, I put myself a nice little note as well. Never put fluid directly in here ever because that's just the sort of thing that I would be likely to do and then be tipping it everywhere. So, the way I've designed it and programmed it to operate is you press the button once, the tray opens, and it starts the agitation. So, you can see the LEDs on the back saying which direction the motor is going in. And that will swill my etchant around. If I press the button again, I've designed it to close properly and go into standby. I'm not sure why the LED is not turning off. Obviously, my programming is not as good as I thought it was. So, if I open it up again, start it going. Okay, clearly my program is definitely not as good as I thought. So I will correct this at a later date. Probably in the next 10 minutes or so. So basically I'll start it again. I don't know if you can see down there, I have a reed switch out of a door contact and I've done the same at the front as well. So that's what's actually controlling the backwards forwards motion. I tried it with timers and uh, timing the amount of time it takes the tray to open but it didn't work. So right, coming towards the end of the video now I'll just put some liquid in there just to demonstrate it. And off we go. As you can hopefully see, that is agitating. So with a circuit board and some etchant in there, that should work a treat. Right, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.